Hello. It's time for the grand finale of, of Mass, Mass Effect. Effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Mass Effect Legendary Edition time, team. <laughs> it's dangerous here. Be careful. Whew. It's going down. It's going down. It's mm -hmm. going down, team. Let me tell you what. We have played Mass Effect 1. We have played Mass Effect 2. We are now completing Mass Effect 3 with all of your good help. It is time to take on the Cerberus headquarters and then, presumably, save Earth and the rest of the galaxy. Oh, we will. We hope. We will. This is where the fun begins. That's right. <laughs> uh, good to see you, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We are very grateful for your company today. Oh, yeah. Uh, how's it going? It's okay for me. Welcome back for 20 months. Woot, woot, woot. And I say welcome back for 18 months. So hyped for this finale. Me too. Please please type, a, type, a, oh. type an X in the chat if you're hyped for the finale. Or use some hype emotes. Or check out the brand new fire, fire emotes emote. from Maybe the good doctor. Do. Let's put some fire in the chat. Can you all cover my screen with fire emotes, please? Thank you. Let's go. Give us fire. Appreciate you. Appreciate you very much. Um, Ronan of Skyrim, appreciate you very much. Thank you for being here. Uh, ooh. ooh. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. And seven saga will end. Phoenix story will live forever. forever. That's right. That's right. Look at this hype on the hype train. Appreciate you all. I want to believe is back for the meaning of life. 42 months. Appreciate you. Thank 42. you. Can we get some of that mod love? Appreciate you moderators. Appreciate you lieutenants. Thank mm -hmm. you for helping us out on Twitch and on Discord. And a big hug to Mr. Debo. Mr. Debo. Hugs fill the chat for yes. Mr. Debo. And Neon Rain. Good to see you. Welcome back for 41 months. Grateful wow. for your company. Holy cow. All right. Thank you. Uh, so I think we should do a little bit of a recap because we got a lot of game to explain uh, three games to explain do yeah. you want to do you want to try the honors of uh yeah. speed rounding it? yeah yeah okay let me try All right, so punch it. it's going down today this is when it all happens when the reapers and cerberus who are the big bads are going to be defeated yeah we're gonna save the galaxy we're gonna save earth yeah. we're gonna complete this um uh, weapon that we have been uh, working <laughs> really hard to uh, to put together, which has actually been trying to be people have been trying to put it together for centuries, um, and now we got the tools. We we're gonna it. make it happen, and um, we do have some new allies too. We got an awesome squad that we've got some loyalty with from the first games as well as the second game, and then moreover, we've just met the Leviathan at the end of the last stream, where the yes. Leviathan. I'm hoping. That the Leviathans are going to come in clutch when we need them against I'm, these Reapers. They have certain set of skills. I'm pretty confident. You Leviathan know? is a ancient creature a that proto -reaper. has proto Reaper, which has been uh, hidden in deep space. Entity Prime. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently, they killed a Reaper. So we want them on our team. They don't really want to be on anyone's team, but because we are Phoenix and we're so special, they're like. For you. For you, the chosen one, the protagonist of this entire franchise. Mm -hmm. We'll do it for you. And yes, we did do the DLCs. We did a bunch of them. We did Omega. We did Leviathan. Leviathan. Uh, we, did... we did some of the Citadel stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on how the stream goes today. We may uh, backtrack and play some more, but because we have uh, another uh, game coming up right around the corner. Uh, yes. What are we doing next weekend? Both next, days, next Saturday week, and Sunday. Next week, we are playing Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. And we are going to be welcoming in some old friends of ours, Ethan and Winters, to play for us. <laughs> yeah, we're very excited, Amelia and I had a lot of fun playing Resident Evil Village, and we're gonna jump over to uh, Basically, the game came right before uh, uh -huh. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It's going to be a ton of fun. And on Friday next week, we are going to be playing the Frozen Wild DLC from Horizon Zero Dawn before we play Horizon Forbidden West on Sunday, February 20th. We will begin, give you all a chance to start playing the game before we stream it. Yo, what's up, Zim Zam Sam? Hey, Zim Can I give Zam some, Sam. Look at all this hype, 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 hype. Thank you. Uh, Zim Zam Sam, I have something new for you. Yeah. Uh, Zim Zam Sam. Can I uh, suggest that you shine bright like a diamond? Ooh. 
Oh, these are real diamonds. Catch one. Catch one. Um, put it in your pocket. These are Lucy's diamonds in the sky, you see. Uh, thank you all for hanging out with us. I uh, appreciate you. And Vices and Disco is giving out some good love. Vices Yo, and Disco, can Vices. I? Vices, thank you so much. 15 gifted ooh, subs. Ooh, ooh. Okay, uh, then I think a heart would be necessary. Aww. Aww. Vices and Disco's big hug. <laughs> Thank you for your support, friend. We appreciate you hanging out. Uh, Re3, thank you for the big cheers. Excited for the finale as well. Yes. Uh, so are we. So are we. Mm. Holy cow. And heat's okay for me. Thanks for the gift sub to W Liz. Yo, if, uh, and share us Jimena with a gift sub to the Leviathan. Nice. If you got one of those gift subs, Leviathan, I'm talking to you, check out the starter kit right here. It's going to show you the way around our channel. We've got two subscriber chats, uh, Zen and Jericho on Discord. How do you do? Good to see you. Thank you for being here with us. And uh, this will give you all the uh, tips on how to use all your other uh, perks of being a subscriber, like your lovely emotes. And uh, the new ones, the stress emote and the fire emote uh, were made by the good doctor. Doctor Who, thank you very much for that. Appreciate you. Baruth09, thank you so much for subscribing. Gotta be birth. Birth? Or Baruth, be Ruth. Be Ruth. Uh, if you'd like us to mispronounce your username, you can uh, subscribe to our channel and we'll try our very best to say it right. Our cheesy, very best. Cheesy, cheesy chappers. Cheesy chappers, I got your email. I'm glad you are so hyped for this. You're you are yelling right now. <laughs> there you go. It's going down. And Coral Gecko Art, thank you for being here for 43 months. Guinea Bees, how do you do? Thank you for being here with us and cheering. Happy Monday morning to you. Should we do it? Yes, yes. Let's do it. Um. Okay. Let's right. do it. Right. Um, so we got. We, we should run around. We should run around the Normandy a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Check in on our squad. Make sure everybody's feeling okay. S see how everybody's feeling about the. Their, see if they're feeling themselves for the situation at hand. I'm gonna jump into my box like this. <laughs> Love it. It's my favorite move. I'm gonna pull up the game audio now that we know we're safe of the incredibly loud loading menu that this legendary yeah. edition does have. Ba, ba, ba. Do, 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 ba, ba, do, do, do. <sighs> I got that time high song stuck in my head. Thank you all for the hype on the hype train. Oh, I really yeah. appreciate that. Uh, thank you for being here and hanging out with us. And if you'd like to retweet to invite your friends, please do exclamation point RT in the chat. Uh, we'll get you the post. And we just crossed over. It is fun to share. 444,000 followers on twitch.tv slash Deckard Games. Yes. This has been a four year project for Amelia and I, and we are incredibly grateful to be crossing over Four, four, four. Sweet. Uh, I thought it. you meant four years of playing Mass Effect, and I was like, oh my god. No, no, no. But we have been playing. <laughs> we have been playing Mass Effect since last May. Yeah. So it's almost been a whole year of Mass Effect, mm -hmm. and uh, we, yeah, we're getting close to the fish suit. I told y'all, at half a million, we'll do something special uh, at 500,000. I really appreciate you. And if you're watching the channel right now and you want to follow, just click the little heart in the corner and join our squad. Ooh, Olivia Butterfly, welcome back for four yeah. months. And thank you for being here. Zen Jaco, thank you for the gifts up to Sharky. Ooh. Director Chronic is here and cheering. And Mech Yooks, thanks for resubscribing. Mech Yook, thank you very much for being here. Appreciate you, goodly gamers. All right. So uh, here's our war terminal. I thought we should check in with it and see how our war assets are doing to begin. Yes. Uh, our total military strength is over 6,000, which is almost as hype as the hype is. <laughs> and uh, aliens like <laughs> us, the Alliance likes us, the Asari, things didn't go so great. No. Actually, it's pretty dark, actually, what happened there. Yeah. Crucible. Okay. Uh, X Cerberus. We got a couple of X Cerberus on our side. That was from the Omega DLC where we went in with a gang of gangs and um, Arya. Uh, we met a new friend called Nyrene who didn't last too long, but we got some help from X Cerberus coming up. That's good. I am Krogan. Uh, we know Rex is alive and we also are grateful that we got our boy Grunt. <laughs> Geth are on our side. Uh, Legion yeah. did fall, but did upload themselves to the higher consciousness and went from a we to an I. And I have, I have high hopes that the Geth will be on our side in the very end. <laughs> I think so too. Uh, the Solarian, uh, we lost Morden, um, but Morden did what was right <laughs> in uh, curing the Genophage and uh, basically righting the wrongs against the Krogan. Yeah. Uh, the Turian are, are, of course, our, our boy Garrus is with us. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as far as I can tell, things are going okay there. We yeah, got yeah. Uh, helping out a lot in the refugee camp uh, in the base of the Citadel. <laughs> and uh, the Corian, of course, uh, not as not as hyped about us as the Turian, but uh, that's kind of where we that's where, that's we, where stand. we stand. We're wearing our sweatsuit, but I thought it would be important to change into something a little less um, 
you know, cash. cash to save the galaxy. So if you'll all join me, I thought we could maybe run around and make sure everyone on the ship is doing well. Are you doing well? Excuse me. Doing yeah, well. Yeah. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Uh, I want to make sure these two are doing okay. Everybody's good over here. <laughs> they all seem to be uh, dutifully Working. typing. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Very good. Remember your home row, keyboard positioning. Wrong way. I've never been in this room before. No, uh, you have. That's oh, where this we where we talked to, to hack it. it. Uh, hack it. <laughs> hack it in. <laughs> hack it in. Hack it out. And we're gonna ramble on. Mm -hmm. So everybody in here seems to be like doing just fine. Yes. Uh, Ferris, thanks for being here for 13 months. And Mystery Marson, thank you for being here and cheering. Thank you for your good support, friends. We really appreciate you subscribing and supporting our channel just by hanging out with us. Uh, ultimately, that's the most important thing, is that you're having fun. And uh, maybe I'm going to talk to my boy Joker okay. in the front. I think we should start at the front of the play, of uh, the plane, the shuttle, and work our way back. And yes, uh, Quinkos, this is our first playthrough. It certainly won't be a 100% playthrough, really but uh, right we've been uh, exploring as much as we are able. And Joker, how you been, man? Hey, I know what you're doing. He's fine. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Yeah, real life Prothean. Have stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. There was some bouncing. How's it going with Edie? Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Oh? No, where? Have fun. What is it now? <laughs> News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. Huh. Well, life isn't just about survival, lady. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? You love to see it. To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. Aww. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? Oh yeah, she loves I you. I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. All right. Aww. Nice. We got ourselves a a uh, you know a, a newly reformed AI. That's sweet. A feeling more human AI. Dyslexicon, welcome back for twenty three months and. Hey, welcome back. Toshter, thanks for cheering. I'm glad you're hyped about this space adventure Manic. finale. Wish you all hanging out here with us. Um, let's see, do we need to get on to the war room? There's no one back there for us. We've talked to them. Uh, let's check in with Trainer. See how Trainer. I'm not gonna lie, Trainer kind of stresses me out. I think Trainer's a little stressed out. Come on, yeah. How you doing, Trainer? Uh, Chalkbus wants to say what's up. All right, we'll go check in on Chalkbus. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you again. You good, babe? Yeah. I'm always at least a two sneeze kind of person. Some people are like that. Yeah. You can't just have one. I never sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not true. Thank you, friends. Wouldn't that be badass if T'Challa never sneezed? You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. 
Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. I understood that reference. Nice work, Chakwas. We don't want to reassign our powers because, in case you were curious, yes, we're, we are. We're we're filled. Fully maxed out. Check at the glyph. Nothing to do in here. No. All right, everything's squared away. Chakwas, your back room seems to be ready to go for saving the galaxy. <laughs> Garrus. Let's see what's going on with Garrus. Make sure everything's okay with Garrus. Garrus. Shepard, never a dull moment when the Normandy's on tour, is there? Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You're a good leader. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? <sighs> if we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. I guess I can't argue with that. You managed peace between the Geth and the Corians. Maybe there is another way. All right. All right. Reputation's going up around here. That's good. Uh, to answer the question about the points, uh, we are playing on normal difficulty. I think that one of the reasons we're able to have such a full uh, level here is that when we built up our Mass Effect 1 playthrough, our Mass Effect 2 playthrough, so we started this at level 30. Yeah. Uh, because we were able to save our, uh, our import. And, uh, exclamation point face code in the chat if you want to make this face live on. If you want to play <laughs> your Mass Effect with our face, we have the technology. Liara is over on the other side. Oh yeah, let's go, go say what's up with Liara over here. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room as a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. I'm glad you made it back. And I'd appreciate it if you'd avoided talking to- I don't want any tentacled creature inside your mind, except me. Okay. A Prothean. Right. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Yeah, but he don't want That's to. That's true, but maybe he wants to keep that to his own self. Mm -hmm. All right, Liara. Excellent good, find, Good Commander. chat. The information oh. network terminal Glyph. has been updated. Can we talk to Glyph? This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Intel terminal weapon upgrade kit. I don't know. This game is gigantic. I certainly will not interact with every possible thing. 
No. But I will try to complete the quests to save the galaxy. Uh, how about crew quarters? Sure. Let's see who's there. Anybody in here? How's everybody doing? You doing all right? No one who wants to talk to us. They always... I don't remember your name, but you're doing great. Who are you? Good work, sir. Okay. Everyone, um, enjoy your very boring room. <laughs> uh, starboard observation. Who we got over here? Anybody? Yeah, someone. Okay. Nice to have everyone back on dry land, so to speak. You know, whenever we discover something amazing like that, I wonder what else might be out there. Or even right under our noses. Feels like the end of Empire Strikes Back. That being said, bye. Okay, and let's uh, let's see. Y'all want to check on here? Is oh, Thane is on the memorial wall. Yes. Yeah, and so is and Legion. Legion. I see Legion, and I see Ashley Williams. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's cool. That is cool. I mean, it's sad that we lost Thane. I really like Thane, but yeah. All right. Um, let's get on to engineering. See what's Sounds going good. on there. We yeah. are playing on the PlayStation 5. Yep. So, Gabby, have you seen Edith? Hey, you two. Commander, thank you. It's no great problem. to be back. Feels I'm glad to, to have you back. Lion's uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Commander. Are y'all ready to save the galaxy? Because this is the finale. We're going to do it. It's happening. All right, Tali. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tali. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's cool. like making a vaccine. All right. It's amazing. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore. It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. That's good. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. You'll love to that see to it. You. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Look at everybody's working together for the good of the galaxy. Yeah. What's up, Adams? How's things bad? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer yeah. of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? No apologies. Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Glad I found you Carry down on, here. Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Haven't seen you in a while. Just been running around. 
doing yeah. my doing my thing, the saving the galaxy. Bopping Cerberus saying no thanks. <laughs> Alright. Shuttle bait. Let's go down to the armory, see what's going on. I've always loved the Rosenthal. 35 Mako. It's got heart, you know. Oh, come on. Do you want to see if we can the upgrade any yeah, we check, on. check on our upgrades. Alright, team, we gotta get everything oh, my, situated just right. Tissue we... paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can Maybe climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jump or Mass stick. effect! No speed, no I lateral movement. I like when movement. the, um, hey, when the name like of the that, game needs to move. is worked into If you want that, dialogue. why don't you just stick with the old M29 <laughs> Grizzly? Hey, I love that take. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> What's so fun? <laughs> hey, real! Thank you so much for the gift sub to Bat Rouge and Jaro and Moogie Blue. I'm glad you're hyped for the finale. We are too. Feeling good about it. Okay, let me. Uh, we got some major upgrades coming our way, and then I want to show y'all. I went. I went on a bit of a shopping spree um, for some new uh, armor sets. So I got this Inferno armor, which I think is pretty dope. Ooh, yeah. um, I can't here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go full screen with the game for a sec so you can see it because our cameras are blocking. Uh, we got this Inferno armor. How about this Terminus armor? Or how about this? We could be a collector. Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy, but I like it. Um, or we can be in the Cerber Cerberus, but we don't want to be like no, that. No, no, no. Cerberus is killing my vibe, you know. Yeah. So um, anyway, probably. Our normal one is the best, but I just wanted to show y'all we went shopping. Um, Inferno is an option. It gives us a good shield boost. Yeah. Uh, do you like that one? You like the collector armor? Um, we could pull it. Sure. Yeah. I'm down to pull it. Y'all want to pull? We're going to pull. Let's pull. We're going to pull it. Um, which armor should we wear for this next mission, which is going into the Cerberus headquarters? Yeah, we're going to take them down. Um, so I'm going to call uh, our, our, our normal armor. And then we have Inferno armor. Uh, and then we have Terminus armor. And Collector armor. And. No Cerberus. Nah. Amelia I... says no to Cerberus. Sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. She won't be one of them. Nope. All right, here we go. Type it in the chat. I'll, uh, well, let me give you a, uh, a full screen so you can see them, and I'll shuffle through them as we go. Sounds good. So here they are. A one in the chat for normal armor, this one. Two in the chat for Inferno armor. I'll move it a little bit so you can see the, the ups. Uh, three in the chat for the Terminus armor. Number four in the chat for the Collector armor. What are we gonna do, team? You're gonna decide and we're gonna play. <laughs> well, the Collector armor does have a good health boost, which is nice. I mean, and it's uh, it's better to, you know, you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Although we kind of did beat them. We did. Uh, in effect. Uh, Terminus, Terminus is, is pretty good. I it mean, has a high shield. It looks cool. Mm -hmm. Inferno armor, I mean, that's sick too, but it looks like it's going to be between the Terminus armor and the normal armor. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, a repull between the two, between okay. the top two, because All this right. is an important decision. Um, we're going to go for normal is number one in the chat and number two in the chat is Terminus. Let me know. I will go by full game. All right. Here is one. No, which one is better? One or two? <laughs> one or two? One. One's a little blurry. Two. Yeah, I think I can, like at the eye doctor. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> okay, Terminus Armor is going to win this one, I think, unless anybody has a really good reason not to, in which case you'll let me know in the comments below. Brrr, ba, 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 ba. Finish the poll. Terminus armor we wear. We adorn All right. it. Right. Save and exit. Nice. Is there any kind of like little separate little ups. upgrades yeah. to do to that? Workbench it out. Mm -hmm. Um so we've got our uh Black Widow 5, we love. We love. Uh here are our mods. Uh spare shot capacity up by 70%. What do we usually have on this thing? Eight? I mean, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Um, but the damage goes up with the extended barrel. Um, accuracy up with the scope. I think I like this scope because it really helps me uh, during, like, uh, 
smoky, foggy situations. You can kind of see an outline of them, and I, I uh -huh. get com confused there. So I think we're, we'll leave this one. This feels good. Um, and let's see if there's any mods we want to drop on this boy. Let's see. Ooh, we don't want to make the weight go up. No. I think, okay, piercing is valuable because we're up against a lot of uh, armor with Cerberus dudes with those shields and stuff. It's cool how it changes like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, we also got uh, this guy, the Claymore, up to five. And increase accuracy by 40%. That helps yours truly, substantially. Spare shot ammo or melee damage. We don't tend to melee unless like the situation gets really dicey. Yeah. So I think we're solid. So we. I don't really wanna. I don't really wanna tinker with it too much. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know. Let's go see what's up with James. With the Leviathan on our side, maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe James. Too bad Anne never got to see her dad's work pay off. Okay. Right. <laughs> Parts of the chunk are reminding me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but you know, the sand and everything. Good talk, man. Good talk. Alright. Hey, what are you doing down here? Canoodling. Are you canoodling? Do I sense romance? Should I stand between the two of you? <laughs> she's our <she's like>, commander, <laughs> shepherd. Uh, Chris O Games, thank you so much for the cheers. I think Anne was fine. She did not die. We um, when we did the Le Leviathan DLC, Aww. we um, we renegated and we stopped uh, James from trying to um, sever the connection, and she went to the med bay, and I think she's fine. Everything's fine now here. Uh -huh. um, our fish aren't dead. They just weren't ever there yeah. in the first place. <laughs> And I see some of you talking about um, bonus streams. Keep your notifications turned on. We do do bonus streams every now and then. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? Look, if you knew Legion like we knew Legion, you would know the Geth are what misunderstood. What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? We upgraded them. Well, they kind of upgraded themselves. The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any <laughs> questions? You gonna yeah. go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. So she's a reporter that we picked up on the Citadel. It happens. Yeah. Happens to the best of us. All right, we're going to the Combat Information Center, team. It's time, we're doing it. It's, it's, it's now or never. We're going for the good old Cerberus headquarters. Yes. You wanna read it with your awesome Codex voice? The elusive man's headquarters have been located and the Alliance is prepared to attack to recover the Prothean artifact that holds the key to the catalyst. Once the attack is launched, the Alliance will be fully committed to the final fight against the Reapers. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Assault the base when ready. I was born ready. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to pass the controller. 
to my beautiful wife who's dressed up like she's in Mass Effect for no particular reason. Uh, we are not going to do shore leave right now. Um, we nope. will see. We're concentrating how... all firepower on the rear deflectors. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have to save the galaxy. We can't we go on shore leave because the galaxy is being attacked by Reapers. I don't know if you. Right now. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's save to make sure that everybody knows that we we. Uh, we this care is the about point them. of no return. Okay, let's go. Do it. Marsupial Queen, thank you for being here and being back. We're grateful for you. It's a point of no return. A separate save file? A separate save file? Uh, yeah, back out of this real quick. Let's, let's, just so we can come back if we want to. Tap this. Let's just go. Just trust me on this. Mr. Debo said the same thing, and I'm remembering to do it. We're just gonna do a next save. There you go. As you were. You waited for this for so long. You ready, Jorgle? We started this game in May last year with Mass Effect Uno. Uh-huh. Get to the mass relay. All right. So, um, our lady put a tracking device on Kai Lane. He left, uh... And uh, we've tracked him here. First, let's fuel up. Fuel there up. We go, and we're gonna go assault. Are you a little nervous? Man. I'm yeah. like a little nervous. I'm a little nervous too. Sophie's nervous too. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on this fan because I'm feeling like a, <laughs> it's a little hot in here, and it's not just because my wife is gorgeous. Aww. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the Chrono Station. We're gonna find that elusive man. Oh, right. The super giant Anadis is a minor footnote on the star maps of the Horsehead Nebula, a cold dying star of about 20 solar masses and 1500 times Sol's radius. Not listed on any charts, an unobtrusive space station is nearly imperceptible in the star's periodic bursts of solar output. Edie's advisory. The size and shape of the station suggests many ships could dock in it. Precise measurements would require active scans, which could reveal the Normandy's presence. Given the stakes, this level of accuracy is not recommended. Okay. Do it! Doc. Um, I think the Shepard, are still going. the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? The Crucible! Ready. The Crucible! Except the for the Catalyst. On. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. Prediction is up on the top of the stream chat on Twitch if you would like to predict whether or not Amelia will succeed in this mission in zero deaths. First try, let me know. Top of the stream chat on Twitch, you can bet your channel points, which have no monetary value and are used literally for the purpose of betting them in these predictions. All right. So, no going back we now. go now. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. We're gonna I'll get the fleets end. mobilized. Pack it out. Looking at our helmet, thinking about things. I wondered hey. where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy, not like me. What are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. Well, it must have disgraced me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? You first. Huh. Very fair. 
What I want most is for this war to end, while there's still a galaxy left to save. And everyone's counting on you to do that for us. It must be overwhelming. I've been ready since I saw the Reapers land on Earth. I can't pretend to be surprised. We have one chance, just one. I'm not losing that. You won't. At any rate, let's not dwell on that tonight. Oh. <sighs> it would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. To find some place very far away, where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. <sighs> right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. At long last. Oh no. Oh, at long last. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I was afraid this was gonna happen. <laughs> here we go, team. We're gonna, it's a bonding exercise. It's so funny, this is love. I just feel like I'm watching this with like my little sister or something. Oh, it's true love. Oh, damn. Ah. Don't worry, I didn't. Ah. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Drastic cut here. Yeah, yeah. Just when we're having some romance, I gotta think about Hoodie Kid again. Okay, uh. I liked the biotics around them. That was beautiful it biotics. Was, it was beautiful biotics. It looked a little bit like the Gifts on Group Hug effect. Yeah. Strange dream after that, for sure, yeah. Wish I could run a little faster, but. This is killing the vibe. I know, it was we uh... Were, we were just, we were just true love. And there we are in the distance. You can't sleep? We're almost there. Already? I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. We'll lead them we'll to victory. Win. That's a promise. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. All right. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Okay. Grab your gear. 
Yeah. Yeah. Get in. We're going to save the galaxy. Um, Edie is in love. Well, not really Edie's in love. Edie's fond of, and Joker is very fond of Edie. So there's, yeah, a, there's, there's a, a, love a thing going match. on with Edie and Joker. So I'm feeling like James is my top guy to go with Edie because he is... He's Freddie a, Prince Jr. And he's a beast. Like, Get him he's in got, there. Okay. Let's, we love James. You come with me. And let's he's, see. Been, he's been with us since the top of the game, Hold you know? On. I might want to change his outfit, though. Oh, oh. Let's see. All right. Let's cycle your appearance. That seems kind of cool. This is really cool. I like the eye thing. Yeah, I like the eye thing, too. Okay, you're coming with us. Get in the van, James. Get We're in the van. saving the universe. Gotta look good. Gotta. And Merc with the Moose, thank you for being here for five months. Natastic, saying one of my favorites, back for 17 months. Thank you for your support, friend. And uh, Kreya's Art, thank you for being here for 27 months. Glad you can hang out with us. All right, let's see what everybody else has. Um, should... I think keep it keep it light because you want you want her to be able to quickly reload her biotics, you All know. Right, yeah. Um, and uh, you can give James another weapon if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh... That's cool. Wait, should we mod him? Yeah, okay. give drop some mods on there. Drop some mods. You like James's dry humor? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's see. we can increase the damage by twenty percent. Yep. And let's also do this one. The scope is really good. Increases the accuracy, you know? And then let's do this one too. Just make sure he's all ready to go. Yeah, yeah, help him out. All right. Actually, we could probably double check on Edie's, uh, um, Edie's weapons too. All right. Uh, confirm. And then let's do Edie, make sure that she's, she's beastie enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, here, let's mod you up. Um, Go, I, I would go up on damage. Uh, apparently the scopes are not as useful for squad mates. Let's just do the damage up and the rounds up. That one, and then... Um, that one. Alright. Exit confirm. Good to go. And Doc Starbucks, thanks for subscribing with your Prime friend. If you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to Twitch for a free subscription with exclamation point free in the chat. Who is this now? Okay, this is... That's James. Okay. Sweet. All right. Cool. So X and circle. Hey, Shyoban McF. Welcome back for five. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. Light fighters guard the launch base. Siobhan. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Yes. We look so cool in that armor. Fifth yeah. Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Okay. I know it hurts not being able to go with her. Yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shepard. Sorry, man. Keep her safe. Same to you. Hey, Oxy the Fox, welcome back for six months. All right. Let's go, Cerberus is going down. Presumably. You want to your, your prediction on? Cortez? I'm fine. I've got repairs to make here. Give Cerberus help. 
Edie's all about it. After a strong start. Okay. Heal. Take cover. That he wins the race. Nice. Cooked. Reload. Man, I'm going to use bio ammo during the first game at all. On it. Awesome. All right. Um, with that, is there anyone here? You can sabotage that big boy. This is your mini map, so no one's behind you. All right. Um, let's sabotage, and you, why don't you frag grenade it, and you, Evie, can it. Ooh. Oh, much muchness. I know the gun is so long. We've added so many attachments to this. Give him a taste of the old, uh, yeah, ah, this one, yeah, carnage, that boy. Reload, reload. Slowly advancing. Man, this thing is tough. All right, um, how about I'm gonna sabotage it again, and you frag grenade it, and you, uh, overload it. Find a console and stop servers from venting the hangar. Okay. Must be up top. Oh, there's the ladder. Shepard, we're steady. almost out of time. Find a console before servers vents the hangar. Yeah, we gotta keep the show on the road. Indy, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Nice. Shepard, 
Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Okay, reinforcements, there they are. Can't see, the Can't see us. Thoroughly liquidated. Yep. Yeah, here comes the upgraded claim. Guess they're on to us. They're not stopping us now. Oh, you. Ooh, a rolling centurion. All right, you need to be... that. You. Maybe you can, uh, defense matrix, and I will throw a sneaky grenade at you. There we go. And he was like, I'm done. I'm out. I'm dead. Don't shoot me. Let's get this hangar. There's someone here. There they are. Okay. Uh, can you incinerate? And I'm going to switch to this back on. Get him in the mail slot. Chat, but if you've played more times, let us know. What? The red ones are not available because they're cooler. <laughs> Ten plus times? Three times? At least six? You watch some playthroughs? Sweet. Overriding safeties. The fighter should now launch to the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. Nice, meds up. And a little extra HP, or XP. Yeah, Carnage has gotta be one of the best, especially of James. You replay it every six months? That's awesome. That's how you know if you love something, if you can play it so many times and still find new stuff every time. I'm amazed by how detailed everything in this game is. Over 2,000 hours? Launching fighter. Yeah! The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Begin. Intruder alert. All personnel prepared. Hey, Privet. How's it going, Cyber? Good to see you. Cocktailer. Right. Up there, can you incinerate? And over there, can you uh, carnage it? And I will disrupt it with some ammo. Hostile forces have breached the area. All units. I shoot me. Lock all terminals and destroy all data below class. Sabotage and incendiary. There we go, nice. Looking away. I was all confused. And sabotage. Sabotage. I have to slow down though. Carnage and Ooh, that 
Cerberus team in this area. Shit, was that all? That's it. That's it, man. For now. Get to the lab. One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. All right, uh, what are they doing now? How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Okay. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along... Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. Good work, good work. Iris, I'm glad to hear you're loving this trilogy. Thanks for the cheers. Down we go. Boko, I've been hearing a lot of people say that, that this, it's the nostalgia, right? Like the game that you played and the, the remaster is awesome. I'm glad, you, uh, I'm glad you're getting to enjoy it with us. I'm just gonna um, there. Frag grenade you. Be through momentarily. Thanks, Shepherd, Edie. That console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. All right. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. That sounds like more than your basic coma. Looks like. What's that like? You remember anything? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me. Or maybe... I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. No, no. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. 
Lawson will find a way. What's our brain you're talking Sir, about? Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows, we're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. We need Shepard, and Shepard needs resources. She'll work with us. Guess he was right. Uh... The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do, sit and wait? You're here to kick his ass now, that's all that matters. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwaz and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Bastard set you up, using your friends to keep you comfortable. How's that door coming, AD? We are clear to proceed. Alright. Alright, let's pause it here and drop a save on it. Uh, new, uh, save 10, not on save 9. Just do a new one for fun, just in case, because then we can come back and play stuff. All right. Um, team, we're going to take a five-minute hydration break, as we do at the top of each hour. And Le Veritas, thank you very much for being here. Appreciate that. Okay. Yes. Uh, I will check out that during the, the hydration break. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's all take five minutes. Whew. Whew. Good work, Amelia. Thank you. You're still alive. I am. Looking good doing it, too. I'm mm -hmm. a big fan of this dress. Um, uh, take five minutes and do whatever you want. I got a romance to pursue. <laughs> Welcome back, friends. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, I <laughs> I gotta say something. I right. gotta say something. Tell. I have a little sneaky package here that I forgot to mention at the start of the stream. These make me very excited to say uh, that Ethan will have some mustaches for our Resident Evil 7 playthrough. Amelia and I are gonna be Streaming uh, as Ethan and Winters are two characters that we like to play Resident Evil as. And um, anyway, I got good intel that there existed a, a pack of mustaches with multicolors. So um, anyway, get hyped, <laughs> I guess. And could you please do me the fine favor of filling this chat with hugs and a big thank you to Mr. Debo, who knows and who has led us like uh, baby gerbils through <laughs> the giant world of Mass Effect 1, baby 2, gerbil. and 3. I do feel a little bit like a blind baby gerbil. And if you know, if you've ever seen one, a baby gerbil is sort of a gummy looking little thing. Yeah. And that's how I feel against the epic <laughs> lore and universe that is Mass Effect. So thank you, Mr. Debo. We love you. We literally love you, dude. Shall we, shall we save the galaxy? I think yeah. it's time. Let's do it! All right. All right, Amelia Rose. Oh, Cerberus right. has got to go. Just Interested absolutely got to go. Your status. We cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. Down, down, baby. I suppose. Not an option. Not an option. <laughs> Not that way, anyway. Pop that broken glass. Oh. Sweet new greaves, man. Gotta save that galaxy. You all like the galaxy, right? Would you agree? The galaxy is great. Alright, she opened a door, then we took a Nicest place you've ever been? That was the best galaxy I've ever known. Alright, can 
You've got this. Just be aware all of the Fire emotes. I see you, team. I see you with the flames. Ooh, what's this? Anything special? No. Thanks again. Hey, thank you so much, Vices. Ooh, that yeah, one. Don't also. let that thing get you. That'll mow us down. All right, let's fortify ourselves. Yeah, think about their points. Okay, okay. I, I thought I got you and your points. Twenty-nine percent of you have got a lot to win here. If Amelia can pull this off in one go. Much fun, very satisfying. Indeed. Um, and I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reaper Tag, well... That's what the shackles are for. 
The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. I guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with Organics has become more cooperative. Hmm. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. It shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice. <laughs> what about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven zettabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. <laughs> that was... A joke. I know. And thank you. Excellent comedy. <laughs> Excellent. And Fru Gruggle, thank you for being here with your Prime. We appreciate you subscribing. Welcome to the crew. Oh, bloody bits. Uh. Bits. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion Thanks, team is still with us. We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep, oh, and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This is an Elysium, Shepard. I don't need a hero. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. Look at all that broken glass! <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, man, kit. Obtained. Armor unlocks me. There we go. How you like us now? Alright. What's this? Hmm. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to her beliefs. She's wrong, but I can respect her decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is amenable. Yes, sir. Udina! I could have taken her. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of her, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Thessia. That was such a sad mission. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the Catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard. She should have died on Thessia. Should I finish her? No. I'm not writing Shepard off as a total loss just yet. 
For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. Yo, pros, are we walking backwards? I feel like we are. The stop and start makes it confusing. Yeah. Coming in and out of the cutscenes. Back, uh, there's a breach in the wall in the corridor. Ah, sneaky, sneaky, cutscene droppy. Uni Bull Balloony, hey! Thanks How you for, doing? Thanks for the cheers, thanks for hanging out. What is that thing? This is the oh, human no, proto reaper, reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those assholes who doubted you. I wish they were here right now. And they can come take pictures once we take care of business. Damn straight. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Alright. Using a Reaper for a More power Cerberus source? Is on route. They damn well better be. I barely broke a sweat. Oh, damn it, wrong please. weapon. Alright, let's start... It's about start, to go down! Let's start with a, a incendiary ammo, and can you overload? And I will... Sorry, uh, at ya. Boom, boom, boom! And get this. Take that, you little bitch! I see that. And you plus Elliot, welcome back for a whole year! We gotta save the galaxy, let's go! I see you, Cyber Modus. How you doing? Welcome back 15 months! Are you 
you shot it, but it's still out. Sweet pose! <laughs> Alright, got it. Alright, let's go uptown. Fighting through this thing's like partying in a graveyard. Like I could feel it watching. You tried to kill me last time. I can watch all at once. the XP, just the icing on the cake, you know? Just a little extra. Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. Rose. The performance Rose. upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work at Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. <laughs> Alright. Creepy. Sir, you wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. No. We're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. Oh my gosh! I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, end recording. No aesthetic? <laughs> no aesthetics. <laughs> Wow, okay, so he himself is becoming a, uh, like, super reaper kind of guy? A reaper kind of guy? I mean, I guess he's, like, uploading his consciousness, because we've never met him in the flesh. No. We've only met him as this sort of, like, entity. Elusive man. Yeah. He is hardcore. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. All right. Okay, Shep, you got this. Talking to myself. <laughs> oh, here we are. The 
need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst. Yes. What is the Catalyst, and how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? Do you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the Catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It is that simple. We are fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is... admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Feeling will never change. He'll never change. Or I can't help you anymore. Or I can't help you anymore. I, I mean, can't help you both anymore. Both are true. Yeah. I feel like I can't help you, man. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done, and so are you. Once again, you fail to recognize the truth. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you, working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body. But instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat. But don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The Catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The Catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers. That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. If you told me sooner, we could have planned for this. It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as so. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. 
The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far, and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me Hackett. He needs... Uh oh What's this? Kai. Kai? Not so fast. You. He did you. warn you not to overstay your welcome. Shotgun's gonna help a lot here. Okay, you incendiary, you decoy yourself. I shall. Maybe, uh, maybe peace out. Oh, peace out. <laughs> this is better than Bessie. More personal. Oh, all right, you. I, I think the, the decoy and the and the cloaking together is mm -hmm. great. Frag grenade, me. I'm gonna freeze you. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, um, all right. I've got backup. Fine, fine. I'm, 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 I'm fine, fine. I'm strong. We have all we've got. No nice. Good shooting, babe. Yeah, cloaking's gonna help a lot because we have no cover here. Try frag grenading and you decoy yourself and I will disappear. Peace. <laughs> Don't look at me. God, he's tough. He's so good. Um, let's try this again. Ready to go? Yeah, it's a good combo. <clears throat> there he is. Okay. Um, frag grenade again. I'm going to disrupt. Is that the best oh. you can do? All right, let's carnage and let's also uh, incinerate. incinerate. Aha! Okay, don't look at me. Incendiary, I'm gonna try freezing you. God. Lady Bird, go on. Got no ammo. Yep. We gotta, we gotta walk over and down the guy. Oh, your shields are way down. Oh! Nice. Um, get our sh. Get our. This up and, uh. Let's do this, and where is this our man? Here, can you? Good work, good work. Oh, 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 All right, team. I want to run the prediction one more time at the top of the stream chat. All right, hold on. You did great. So, what was working the best? Um, I mean, my shotgun and uh, uh, cloaking. Um, there's nothing to hide behind, which makes right. it. I think tricky. the I think the cloaking is valuable, and I really think that the, the decoy helps because if you can if you can keep Kai busy attacking a decoy. You know. Alright, there's another picture at the top of the stream chat on Twitch. This is better than Stentia. More personal. Only time can heal your shields. Uh, I'm trying maybe overloading him. And let's get our fortification up and I will... Um... Take that sticky grenade! Nice. Okay, good work on the shields. Keep that up. All you're doing is making humanity up. Target is great for attack! Oh! Oh god. You can take 
armor technically in there if you want to, but then you have to jump back out. You're too late to stop what's coming. Maybe, maybe not, but you won't be there to see it. All right. Where's my little? There we go. Okay. Carnage and incinerate, and I'll incinerate too. Oh, there we go. Nice. Down to half health. There he All right. Stay low for shield regen. Hoppity, hoppity, phantom boy. Carnage that phantom boy and incinerate that phantom boy. Yes! Ah! Yes! Do those villains? Really, no one sees. Shepherd, look out behind. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating. I'll stop them. Hoo, 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 hoo. Nice. Nicely done, Amelia Rose. Cheesy Jeffers, thank you for the cheers. Man, just one death. Just one. One. I mean, that was a tough boss fight. I mean, to do that all in one go was yeah. tall order. So do you think the people on the Citadel noticed that they're being transported to a whole other galaxy? Oh, like, hey guys, uh, do you get the feeling we're kind of moving this way? <laughs> Yo. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. 
Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Nicely done. Nice! Alright, I'm paying some people some points. Alright, only one death. That was the one. Yeah, yeah. Good work, Amelia. You did great. Thank you. You should be proud of yourself. To do it in one to do it in one is a huge damn deal. The Alliance is pleased. They give us those 55 G's. And That's what's up, good. Sirius Black? Welcome back. That's for Thane. There you go. Welcome back seven months. Yes. Appreciate you all hanging out. Uh, we are nearing the top of an hour, so I think what we should do is take a hydration break now and okay. then just do the whole thing uninterrupted on the other side. I'm going to take over the controls when we get back, which is to say the first phase of the next priority mission I will play. And then somewhere in the middle, I'm going to switch it over to the real Phoenix Shepherd and let Amelia finish what she began. Okay. Uh, but I do want to play a little bit. Oh, you should. Um, so, can we do a prediction like, will I make it to the midpoint, or do we just roll with it? We, we could do predictions. I think that is, definitely is that, is ups that a the viable stakes. way to split it in half? <laughs> Ooh, so epic! It's true, Vichelli. It's just got to be that way. She's dressed the part. Um, so we can write a prediction during the hydration break. Okay. Uh, we'll put it up, and we're gonna take five minutes. We can do a five-minute prediction, and uh, then so, we'll be right back. So, how should I phrase this? Um, we'll. Brian, stay alive. Uh, let's see. Um, for, uh, yeah, you do a prediction on your portion and then the other, yeah. Um, uh, I, I think we're going to get a, a midpoint, so. Uh, complete or com get through his mission. Yeah, this half of the mission. We'll, we'll, we'll phrase it and it'll be at the top of the stream chat on Twitch, and we'll be right back in five. See you soon. And if you'd like to retweet to invite your friends, now's a good time to do so. Yes. And if you'd like to dance, now's an even better time to do so. This song is by our buddy, Lo the Music Man. If you'd like to check it out, it is called Time, time Heist. Heist. Right. And thank you for your patience. I'm putting up a tweet real quick. For Thane, for Earth, for the galaxy. All right. Um, while you do that, your prediction has come in. 65% of people think that it's not going to happen this first time. But 35 believe from the depths of their soul that mission success is in your future. Thank you, team. Thank you, team. Also, Plinkity, thank you so much for the gift sub group hug. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you kindly. Thank you very much. I'm going to do a thank special you. little. Do a special little. I'm going to do, do a special some... little. Do some sparkles. Yes. Oh, and Zim Zam Sam, thank you very much oh. for the gift sub group hug. Okay, for you, Zim Zam. Zim Zam Sam, I'm feeling like um, feeling like an explosion. Oh yes. yes. Zim Zam Sam, <laughs> thank you for the explosion, love. Thank you, thank team. You. Appreciate thank you, very you much. hanging out with us. Uh, for real, team, this is a lot of fun. Um, I was having some technical difficulties, but it's all good now. And, uh, well, we got a pinned tweet up on Twitter if you'd like to retweet to invite your friends. Ooh, C. Finch, C. Finch 1792 is here with some gifted subs for the community. Thank you very uh, much, C. Finch. C. Finch, about... I, I hope you never leave. Aww. I hope you never leave. <laughs> I'm use that every time. Big hug. Thank you for <laughs> hanging out with us. Thank you for being with us, everybody. And, um, you know, I don't know. I got no more puns, but I do have some purple smoke that I can rise up. Yes. If you got one of those gifted subs from Zim Zam Sam or Plinkety or C Finch or any awesome recruiter on our channel, please check out the starter kit. This will show you the way around the channel. And uh, you can, unbelievable, you can... Uh, <laughs> You can come join us in our subscriber chats. Hello to Zen Garden and to Jericho. Thank you for being with us. And can we please, while we're at it, get some mod love. Mod love. Thank you, moderators. Thank you, lieutenants. We appreciate your help on Twitch and on Discord. Yes. We're getting into it right now. Final, <laughs> final. The final, final mission. Final mission. Half part one. Final mission part one, half part one. <laughs>
Let's go into our boxes and okay. get the show on the road, eh? All right. <sighs> Not to be melodramatic, but I'm an actor. You got this. Hmm. <sighs> All, right. All right. Let's go. The war terminal. Things have gone up. We yeah, got, we got, got, got up about a hundred, uh, hundred up. We got the crucible looking good, and the geth. The situation with the geth is improved. And Yo! Uni, Uni, Uni Boba, Boba Looney, Looney, Uni Boba Looney. I got something special for you. I feel like, mm. I feel like a parrot. We haven't done a rare parrot in a while. We have summon not. rare parrot. Thank you, Uni Boba Looney. We appreciate you. Thank you for the love, friend. Thank you, Looney. Thank you for hanging out with us. We appreciate you all being here with us on Twitch. Twitch. I'm going to play some video games now. Okay. I'm going to do it. All right. Um, here it is. Brian's playing. Game audio back on, and we're ready to rock it. Sweet. Right. Okay. All right. We're going to play until we complete it. No more breaks. No more hydration breaks. Where we're going, we don't need roads. We just need to save the galaxy. And beyond. And beyond. Actually, we don't know too much about the Reapers' uh, reach outside of the galaxy, but I have a sneaking suspicion that they are not just present in the Milky Way. Commander, Dr. Chakwis sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Okay. We're gonna go talk to Chakwis real quick. All right, Chakwis, yeah. Downstairs? Yeah. Medical crew deck. Oh, man. All right. Chakwas, what's going on? What's up with Shepard? Remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes. Well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. Should we save it for a victory or drink it now? Let's drink. Let's drink it now. Let's go. You grab the glasses. I'll open the Raise bottle. Raise a glass to freedom. Something the Reapers and Jeff are trying says, to take Jack, away. Jacqueline, subject zero. Sorry, but it's ma'am to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. Is your first name after all that? <sighs> Thank you, Doctor. To a woman I respect and admire. I'm lucky to have you with me, Doctor. And to you. It's my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander. <clears throat> and good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. <laughs> All, All right. right. I'm saving the galaxy. You want to check on Garrus too? Okay, I'll check on Garrus too, but then we're saving the galaxy team. I think he's a uh, crew deck, or he's on the same yeah, floor? Yeah, I think he's just straight on to morning. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Gotta say what's up to Garrus. Gonna say what's up to Garrus and Ricardo, I agree. Oh! Uh, oh. We were just, uh... I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye, and, well... Uh, I, I think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So... <laughs> Yeah. 
Guys, it's uh, okay to be in love. You can, you can be in love, but how did I not notice this? I've been so concerned <laughs> with my own galaxy saving that I, I hardly even noticed that the two of you were... I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy Both for you. Both of you. Thanks. Kila Salai, Shepard. Kila Salai. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, team. I appreciate you looking out for me. I know there's a ton of stuff that we missed in this playthrough. I know there's a ton of fun moments all throughout the game. <laughs> and we'll have to play it again to discover them, as many of you did. Yes. All right. That's adorable. <laughs> Let's save the galaxy. To the galaxy. <laughs> to the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> to where we are and where we aren't. To Pax. To Pax. <laughs> West. East. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. The last stand. Maybe let's get some more fuel. Get a little bit of fuel. Couldn't hurt to buy some fuel. What are we going to use these credits for anyway if the whole world explodes? Oh, wow. That's cool, Jade. Order fleets to Earth. Order fleets to Earth. Let's do it. Let's do it. Y'all love the Citadel DLC. I, I, I take your recommendation strongly. Let's do it. <sighs> Commander, you've got a priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. In the flesh? Hi, Commander. Not all hologrammy and semi-transparent? There he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Commander? So Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. I'm so hyped. I know. <laughs> I'm like a little starstruck that he's right there himself. in front of us. <laughs> Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it up. Pack it in. Let us begin. <laughs> Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. 
Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Nice. Handsome Jessica, welcome back. 42 months. Welcome back, handsome Jessica. Okay, uh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was Hackett's speech there what they used in the teaser for the new Mass Effect? Because as he was saying those things, I was like, why do I know these lines? Or maybe that's what they used for the trailer for the Legendary Edition, but, or maybe he's just, this has all happened 50,000 years ago, and I don't know. Anyway, uh, so the, for the prediction, we're gonna play it until we get back to another squad selection screen or we go back into the mission again. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, there's, a, there's another Mass Effect, uh, or it was the guess the announcement. Alright, All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Should we take Liara? Should we take Garrus? <sighs> I think... I'm seeing a few to say, bring Liara. Okay, I'll take Liara, because, you know, we're going down. And maybe uh, Garrus or James. Garrus has got overload... Javik. Javik is a... I mean, honestly, Javik is awesome. I'm taking Garrus, though. It's just... You, you, He's your... you guys told me to play this game starting from the first game, and now I love Garrus and Liara, and there's nothing I can do about it. Let's go! Can you up anybody anymore? Let's find out. All right. Uh, Liara's loaded. We can definitely mod the weapons. Yeah, she needs help. Uh, pistol scope is not necessary, but the damage up is good, and... Melee damage couldn't hurt. Okay, confirm. And sidearm number two is already, oh, here we go. Heat sink. We'll take damage up and we need fast, we need a fast Liara. Okay, keep that nice and light. Confirm and then, <sighs> for us. Those are all good. Maybe, yeah, let's up his stuff. Yeah. Damage up and treat. Damage up. So, friends, for, for those of you who played Mass Effect 3, who are the two that you took on your final mission? I'm seeing Garrus and Javik. Seeing Tally and Garrus. Garrus. Approaching Soul Relay, Commander. Caden Garrus. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. It's gonna be mass chaos. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Sorry, fleet's reporting. Warrior fleets are counted for and ready. Get fleet reporting. <laughs> All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Gang's all here.
Shepard. Good luck. You too, Joker. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Shepard. I know how you must feel. Barely even recognize it. Shit! We got a lock! Hold on! Damn it! Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Ma'am? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. How do we do that? That downed shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crashed shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you, Shepard. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Now, go, go! <laughs> Look alive. Uh, I like singularity is our way to go, I think, and a little incinerate. Incinerate. Nice.
Thanks. Uh, Liara, can I get some floaty floats? Right Put about there.
above this ramp. Yeah. Damn it, you've got airborne hostiles inbound. I'm gonna try to keep them off you. Careful, Cortez. Good looking out. Just my head is invisible. I don't know what to make of that. But up close, they're even worse. Back at it. That's it. Last gun down. All hammer teams, prepare for landing. <laughs> hammer teams down. All right. Thank goodness it's gonna stop that big shaking. Anybody, Whoa, come in. We need extraction. Heads up, we got company. <gasps> right upon you. It's me. Position. This is garbage. Survive. Down. Back in seconds to 
we keep ourselves alive so we can help our friends. Put your own oxygen mask before helping others. <laughs> I'll never be the same. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Jill. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. <laughs> and not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding the forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. Oh my god. We got no time to talk about this. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, I don't Anderson. know if I'm okay, team. I don't know. <laughs> I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Be safer. Yeah. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. I'm sorry about Cortez. He was a damn good pilot. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Oh, level up! Level up, don't mind if I do! Can we give our squad any points? Can we get our, give our squad any points? We're just maxed out, and our squad's doing their best. Holy moly. 
You got this. All right, let's check in with some folk. Hey, Commander. James! What, no Lola? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... We'll rebuild or get angry about it. We'll rebuild. I know, Play it's hard positive, to see. Man. But this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know. I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One yeah. more push. One last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there, Lola. <laughs> My name's not Lola, it's Phoenix. But it's cool that we bonded a little bit. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Good work. But one of you is a deviant. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> and it's not you. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. <laughs> you're not cut out for this shit, but you're doing good as a soldier. <laughs> Alright, I think you can pay people points, by the way. That counts Yay! as the, uh, the middle point. Alright. Uh, team, I'm gonna just move this fan real quick because it is incredibly warm in here. Yeah, I know. It got real hot. Alright. They believed and they were rewarded. Did Echo Team have a recommendation? Alright, let's check in with the rest of the squad. Pay us the points. That's Frank. Frankie's got it. Frankie's always under control. Sally, you're doing nice. Good work, Sally. Who's that? These are Ted and Ted. We always make them work together. Kate. Hey, Kaden. Commander. You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. And biotics division? Your students? <laughs> More than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Guess we're old soldiers. Hey, Shepard? Yeah. I guess we are. We know the score. We know this is goodbye. No, it's not. We're gonna win this thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna fight like hell to see you on the other side. But listen, I... There's... Things I wanna say. I mean, looking back... I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Messed up kid that I was. Never would have dreamed of the life I've had. And I owe a lot of that to you, you know? It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? I'm scared? I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, of course I'm scared. Damn straight I'm scared. That fear is gonna keep me alive long enough to strike these bastards right through the heart. Yeah, exactly. So, take care, Major. You too, Commander. Well, I should find the rest of my squad. Ted and Ted are right there. Yeah. You know, Teddy. I've never been to London. <laughs> We have, but it didn't yeah. look anything like this. Yeah, uh, we enjoyed our time in London. Who's this? Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Yeah. Let me talk. Let me talk to Grunt. Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. <laughs> About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? 
Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay, Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Yeah, give me Jacob. Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Call the sir. Is there someone else I can connect you to? He's confused. Miranda. Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander. Hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard. I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change, but on our terms. We've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. Good. And Miranda. Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Yeah. Let's talk to everyone. Let's talk to everybody. I mean, here we are. This is finale, team. Let's yeah. do it. What's going on with Jack? Jack. Certainly. I like that I'll this connect person you now. is able to connect us to everyone. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're a ways south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bring a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. Your gift for inspiring confidence is needed now more than ever. You think it'll work for all these different people? Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. Farewell, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? It depends on whether you've got the Crucible good to go. Oh, it's ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. Communications tech, I want you to know that it's been a hell of a scene. And you're doing great. Keep it up. All right, Amelia Rose. We Can have... Take us to Anderson? Well, no, we gotta talk to someone else. We gotta find Liara. Have you seen my lady love? Maybe she's, she's with she's, Anderson. She's sort of blue. Abadi Abadai. Alright. Uh, I guess we're going in this building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's her in a different building. Cool. Thank you, Wordsmith. Alright. I, like I like that we get to check in with everybody. It's it's uh it's a good deal that, you know. We're all still in contact. Over there.
General notice, all firehouses. People, we're using the trucks as decoys now. There's no way we can handle the damage being done, and since there's appar they're apparently trying to take us out, we might as well be of what use we can be. Volunteers only. Coordinate with evac services. God go with you. Central dispatch. All right. There must be another. Right, we're going up a rubble ramp. Up a rubble ramp. Rubble ramp. Work, Sue. What's that shiny? Get it? Oh, yeah. Obtained, obtained. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The broker don't want to share supply. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> that ought to get his attention. Primarch Victus, I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world looks as bad as ours. We're all in this together. It's a shame to see another planet get hit like this. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times. Huh. huh. be the last chance we get to say that. You think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no shepherd without Vicarian. So you better remember to duck. Sorry, Torians don't know how, but I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Karis. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. All right, team, is there anyone else we can talk to on this side of the door? Or can we go through the door safely? Because sometimes cutscenes will happen to you. And you never know. <sighs> I'm going through. Door is fine. We've got hostiles on the perimeter. Get it, Bry. You sure? Yeah. From that, I feel more experienced. All right, I'm past the control to you once we get to. Uh... How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. 
That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. We'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Of course I do. Close your eyes. Let's do what needs to be done. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. <laughs> Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us. No matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what will you do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. I believe the Hanar would welcome me. I could live like a king among them. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Brothian speak. It has been a privilege. Nice. Rex. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Now let's go kick some ass, Shepard. Huzzah! What about this zone? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Oh, my God. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside Big Fence. Shepard... I have a question. 
Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Couldn't put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Was that a little smile, Edie? It was. All right, team, I think we've talked to everybody that's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tali. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Ranark? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you. Captain. It's been an honor, Talisor of us, Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Sweet! Alright. Hack it. No, Anderson. Hey, Commander. Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Less than 40% of Hammer has reported in. Tell me there's more coming. There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. <clears throat> but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. Great. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. Ooh. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. All right. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. Pick your team well. Oh. 
Oi, 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 oi. All right. So I think we're going to take a pause here before we go into the final phase. Yes. Who to take? They're all going to line up being like, pick me, pick me, pick me. Should we pause it? Let's pause yeah. it right here. This Let's is a natural it. spot. Mm -hmm. Whoa, team, this is it. It's going down. It's the final battle. I am going to put up a prediction during the hydration break that we'll take just now to decide if Amelia can complete this. <laughs> Wow, Amelia, are you ready? Will Amelia get through? Will Amelia save the galaxy? Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. In zero deaths. <laughs> In zero deaths. I sure hope so. I hope so too. Yes. Go, Phoenix! <laughs> Not in one try. No. Okay, we'll put it up for five minutes. All right. All points wager. Use as many points as you feel like. We're going to take a five minute hydration break and uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Sounds good. All right. All right. Uh, the prediction is up at the top of the stream chat on Twitch. If you need to get up and move a, move around, get a snack, do what you got to do. And then we're going to come back and crush the end of this and crush those reapers and do what you were born to do, Amelia. Right. Ah. All right. <laughs> we'll see you in five, team. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will be right back. There we go. <laughs> well, you missed my stupid joke, which was that we talked to everyone at school. And yeah. I meant to say we talked to everyone in the squad. Uh -huh. uh, we talked to everyone in the squad at school and they are ready to defend the galaxy. Mm -hmm. And we're feeling good about it. And I hope you're feeling good about it. And now <laughs> Amelia's taking the controller and she's going to select the squad that we're taking with us. Uh, uh, Mary Marson, thank you very much for the cheers. And Holly Everest, thank you very much for the raid. Hey. Thank you for hanging out with us. You still uh, can't hear us? Sure you can. They can. It's there. It's there. It's a slight delay. Okay. I take my cues here. Uh, and Morning Goal, what's going on? Thank you very much for being here for 32 months. And Sola800, thank you very much for being here with a gift sub group hug. Okay, thank me, you very me, much, Sola. Let me give you some love with Ooh, this. How about, how about that? Uh, the new sparkle? New sparkles. Glitter. Glitter, yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate you hanging out with us. Thank, Thank you, you very Sola. kindly. <laughs> Grateful for your gift sub support. If you got one of those gift subs from Sola, be sure to check out the starter kit. And Amelia is about to take on the end of this game. Uh, I'm going to read you your uh, prediction real quick while you choose your squad. 32%. 32% okay. think we can do it in one. All right. 32%. That's, that's good. That's good. All right, Amelia, you're okay. going to choose your squad on your own because you are a full adult human All who right. is able to make their own decisions. Comrades. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. And lovers. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. Yo, thank you all for this gift of love. Thank you, thank you, The thank next you. few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother. Every son. Every unborn child. They're trusting you. Depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. You're not alone. We face our enemy together. And together, we will defeat them. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Yo! laughs> Vices, thank you so much for the gift of group hug with oh. Zim Zam Sam. Yeah, and thank you. And Cheesy Chappers. Cheesy Chappers, thank you for the gift of group hug as well. Yes, <laughs> appreciate you. Moogie Blue, thank you for the hype. Wood, wood, yes. wood. And Emerald and Laveritas, thank, thank you, you very thank much, you, friends. Thank you, yes, thank you. you are amazing.
amazing butterflies go parrots go smoke go <laughs> select your squad wife diamonds nicole wandering is giving out five gifted subs you're nice. a diamond an actual <laughs> diamond and luke lemon art you are an actual leaf <laughs> I don't know what that means exactly, but thank you, Luke Lemon Art, as well. Multicolored, look at brilliant this, to look at. All this gift sub love. We literally love you all. Tendies, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you for hanging out with us, friends. Thank all right. you. All right, friends. Thank you. Thank you. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Liara with us because she's our ride gotta, or die. Gotta take Liara. Gotta Come with take me. Liara. And let's see. Let's, let's, let's give you this red because we're fierce and i'm gonna take james too because honestly i've really enjoyed him james is being a ride or die yeah. since the beginning of this game right yeah now. okay so james it's you and me let's get it going right. dr who thank you very much for the cheers appreciate you team is everyone doing okay these are all great all right let's go all right you have any points for james yes. and uh let's take um um frag grenade you like to use a lot or incendiary ammo All right, uh, Uptown, that's nice. Health and armor, that'll be good for us. Nice. All right, and then Liara. Uh, yep, Liara. Let's make her, uh, her warp. Warp is good. Warp is strong. Warp, warp is, is strong. strong, yeah. Okay, let's go. Yes, Tito, James. James. My wife chose James. I chose James, I like James. chose James. James. turning them back, I don't think. No. <sighs> <sighs> okay, some cannibals. Looking alive. They hate the part of a rifle. Honestly, it melts their soul. I'll, make, I'll melt your soul. Melt them nice. They're so melted! The cannibals can't stand it. And let's 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 bring them all together. Thank all you. together now. All together now. All together now. All together now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. All right. Once they wins the race. Cannibal Town USA. Goodbye, sir. I said good day, sir. <laughs> I said good day. The Mako Mako. Hey! I really, you know, I very much enjoyed driving the Mako Mako. Oh no! Uh, those are our favorite Mako Mako! Get down, get down, Chef! Alright. Team, this one needs some carnage. And this one, let's bring everyone together again with some singularity. Thank you. And I'm gonna take out my black kiddo. Ooh. Oh, flying! <laughs> Lady Orion, thank you for the double gifted subs, friend. Appreciate that. Sick. Reload. Is everyone down? Everyone's down. Okay, who's that? Fly. Oh. Alright. 
Nice. Shots only. Dillweed McKee, thank you for being here with five gifted subs. Appreciate the love, friend. Thank you. Nice. That's that's the way. See ya. Oh yeah, we leveled it up nicely. I think we've got all three of our equipped weapons are uh, level five. Anybody know how the hell mods. they're supposed to take down a destroyer with tanks? Phanix missiles can do a fuck ton of damage. If you say so, cut the chatter. You heard the Admiral. No retreat. No retreat. Never surrender. Oh, no. Uh, well, stay out of that thing's sight. If that hits you, you're done for. First degree banshee. Oh, don't look at me. Good work, good work. Oh, it's a bad. You it's got a, it. It's a bad chief. You got it. You got it. It is a bad chief. Okay, can you uh, my singularity turn? Thank you. Um. Uh, we need cover of that. Nice. Oh, fire it. Give it fire. Yes. Give it carnage. Give it. Warp ammo. It's strong. It's real strong. It's, strong. it's funky. It's funky. Ooh, you're bad. Ooh. Can you try to spin out? It's all good. Ooh. Oh, get down. Get down. Not, not that way. Ooh. Calm down a little. Yeah, that's a scary enemy. Those will stress you out. that thing.
Nice. Whew. You're doing great, Amelia. Thanks. Tell me if you see any shimmy or no shinies. Carnage. Old fashioned carnage. And warp. Thank you. Nice. A chop of the husk. Here's some ammo. All right. Nice. Reminds me of a certain Resident Evil parking garage. Mm -hmm. Oh, big, oh. big boys. All right, um, big boy. Concentrate must... on one of them. Knock one of them out first. Yeah. Oh. Double chop. Get too close. You can always disappear yourself. Run away. All right. Um. Sick. One down. All right. Sticky bum. <laughs> Grin carnage. Forward march. Up I go. Babe, you're doing great. Thanks. So far, so good. Alright. Blue Queen, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the spot. Uh, that one, can we, can we frag grenade it? Maybe steal it? And I will throw a... Grenade. Carnage. And... Sticky grenade. Aha! Corner. Over here, I'm gonna switch to my. Oh. 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 oh! oh, thank you. Thanks, team! There he is. A sneaky little cannibal. Excuse me. There we go. Thanks. We're moving again. What an experience. Anything for me here? Oh, that kit. Okay, thank you. Want you. To see it? We'll take that. Oh. Reload in the meantime. Great shooting, Thanks. Amelia. Miss Brightside's all about it. Maybe you gotta help people with this? No. We're just trying to get through this mid zone. No, no, no. The door. So we're back here? Yep. Husk. Show them what you made up. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, people. Bonk. Ice peel. 
Man, them husks, though. That gives them a place to hide. Roger that. Yeah, we played RE2 Remake and loved it. Nice. These guys are strong. Did you get him, Liara? Thanks. Nope. While I do this, how about you, Carnage, and you can You love to see it. I'm gonna get myself some disruption ammo. Oh. These are a lot of dudes. Reload, reload. Wow, these are very strong. But why would you choose James? Sorry, I just had to. Well, I personally think James is a boss. And I think James is a bad app. Yes. And, uh. Um, comes in clutch when you need that. Nice! I think it's just because she has a crush on Freddy Prince Jr. or did as a youth. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. So proud of you, babe. Thanks, Brian. Cover, cover. That girl is a 
on fire! Recognize this store in London? Pastries were taken by the Reapers. Why? Why did you take off? You wanted a. These were our pastries. <laughs> All we wanted was something nice and safe to eat. Maybe a little savory. Classy combo. Watch your back! Grenades! Eh? <laughs> Hold that thought. You guys are hilarious with the emotes, I love it. Nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Mm, all right. Incendiate and let's warp, and I will. Hit. He does. Nope. 
the grenade! enemy maneuver. Study wins the race. I think you're doing great with the cover. That sound is so good. I know. Central Clown, I think we're past the point of asking nicely. <laughs> okay. Just ask them nicely to stop shooting at us. And I think that uh, diplomacy has failed. Let's say. Heed your warning. Coming up out of the 
out of the metro, out of the tube. Clear. Press on. This is a lot of fun. You do it. Very. Oh, oh. Double Town USA. Run. <laughs> Retreat. Okay, get down. Um, let us carnage. And oh, you mean James's carnage? And my carry. And boom. And once again. Boom. And let us. That first one's down. Um. Oh, oh he's mad. Really mad. Run away. Brave for all that run away. Bravely run away, away. Okay. Um, you shall be carnaged, and you shall also be warp ammoed, and I shall use my boom boom stick to go no no bad bad. Leave Liara alone. She did nothing to you. Boom boom stick. Yes. That's right, it's a tactical retreat. Come on. Attack! Retreat! Right. It's true though, I mean, repositioning will save your life in this game. Here's some stuff. Data pad. Security memo. They're targeting shelters, evacuation shuttles, emergency services, power centers, people. It's not about destroying property as much as it is about destroying the population. We've got a modified standard evac plans. We can't rely on conventional procedures. We'll just get more people killed, stay in small groups, get survivors out of the city, spread people out as much as possible. Pass the word, people. Ah. Okay. Whoa. That was really high stakes, Bry. I mean, I feel that way. <laughs> the missile battery. We'll be okay. No body, no death. <laughs> nice shooting with the shoddy. Yeah, you get through with that one. There's the artillery! But the company's been wiped out. Commander, do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer. But we'll never make the precision uh. strike we need to take it out. Okay. It. 80, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it. Launcher controls. Nice. That's it. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting systems. Sounds like good news, Commander. We'll see. Oh, I'm gonna uh, defend the missile battery. This is Admiral Anderson. The Reaper ground forces are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. Um, should I hurry like this away? Since get I'm ready! One? There they are!
sanity, bro. some lag. I'm just gonna uh, see if I can make some uh, setting adjustment to make sure that doesn't happen too much. Hang tight team, just one second. Pardon the delay in flow. Um, there we go. Hang tight. It's definitely on Twitch's side, I think, but let me see what I can do. You doing all right, team? Uh, maybe hit a hit a refresh. Yeah. Um. Oh my god. I'm glad that we took a second. All righty. Um, we're gonna drop down to four thousand kilobytes per second, and that looks a little more stable. Does that feel better for you, team? Um. Uh. Yeah, you're getting good. If anybody's having trouble, hit refresh, and we should be good. All right. <laughs> Maintain cover. It's okay. We killed the flow. Yeah. Pause it. Hold on a second. You were in total flow state. Thanks a lot, Twitch. Whatever. It's okay. I'm going to run another production. I feel like saying that I could finish that whole thing. Finishing like the final one in one try is pretty Really? Uh, yeah. Um, but if you get overwhelmed, uh, dip out with your clothing. No, I, I was. I was just trying to duck and instead I uh, launched over. Alright, one minute prediction at the top of the stream chat on Twitch. No, it counts. Amelia says it counts, it counts. It's a tough section. Heads 
Sim Sam Sam, welcome back 11 months. Appreciate you, oh. looks like they're coming in from that way. <gasps> no! I'll just turn on the Banshee at a distance. That banshee don't care at all. That banshee is mean. Oh God, get down. All right. Oh God. Oh, it's coming. Um, Carnet, Warp, and... Oh, there we go, one Banshee down. Oh. Okay, you gotta go. Banshee. Down. Banshee down. They're everywhere. We're being You're doing overwhelmed. Great, You're doing great. Oh my god. Is it covered? It's covered. Yeah. Commander, I have reprogrammed targeting. Missiles are ready for launch. Got it. You heard her. Back to the truck, people. Oh. Missile guidance enhanced. Ah. Capturing interference. Did it hit? Two missiles, and we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. Then closer to us. Commander, hammer is being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. Uh. We're fighting our way to you. Hold on, Commander. Hold on. Goddess, more are coming. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Just a little while longer. We can do this. 
Let's do it. Here they come! I would say we're. Disappear? Uh, you can't. Hold on, run. I can't. I can't. Oh my god. Oh, 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 Shepard. Oh, Shepard. Oh, Shepard. The body is broken. The body is broken. But the soul endures. Choose outcome. New prediction going up at the top of the stream chat on Twitch. Let's see it, team. Let's see it. I think this is the one. needs to be carnaged and uh, warped and grenaded. <laughs> and fragged grenade and destruction ammo and oh my god! Team, I'm scared! Double brutes. Double brutes. Triple brutes. One group brutes. Can you carnage him from over here? It would have been very different a year ago to try to do this. Uh, yeah. It's a little Mass Effect 1 and 2, a little oh, Ratchet God. and Clank, a little Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh no. Oh, big trouble. He sounds Shepard. So when this thing goes, we gotta hang in the windows of when it's not shooting. Yeah, stay close to this vehicle at this point. 
you. Okay, double Banshee Town, USA. You're doing great. You're doing great. Uh, this is really, really freaking hard. It is really hard. You're doing amazing. Job. All right. Over here we got Banshee. With this Banshee, we want to try and warp them, and also incendiary. And I'm gonna try and disrupt. Them. Need to breathe. We need to breathe. All right. Pause it. Pause it. And to breathe. Uh, I feel like I'm very close to the end. You are very close to the end. I can tell you're very close to the end. Uh, uh, All right. Can she do it in just four deaths? Don't do it yet. I'm going to put a new prediction up, and we are going to breathe. Mm. Everyone, will you hear the chimes? Take a big deep breath in. And again, big deep breath out. Big nice breath in. And out. All right. All right, nice and calm. You got it. Not now, Nick. Not now. <laughs> Let's go. Warp that thing to weaken it, and then shoot it. That, yeah. Who's this? Who's I hate that banshee. I like literally don't know what to do about this banshee. Oh. 
going. Maybe no more predictions. Okay. Because everyone's just gonna keep uh, getting really disappointed. to do. You're doing great. Oh, you take, I think you need to just take a second. You're, you're all stressed. You know what? You want to stand up? Yeah. All right, team. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Team, we're going up. We're going up. Prepare for launch. In three, two, one. See ya. We're doing the rest of this game standing, all team. Right. Oh, man. I'm going so late. Oh. All right. You ready? Constantly be hitting them with powers, powers, powers. Yeah, but you know, powers need like cooldown, you know? Oh god. Oh, man. This is what it is, babe. Do you wanna I mean I'm just trying to think of like what I can do differently. I mean maybe maybe go deep in a corner and uh hope no, that they're I get you. then I get uh then I get cornered, like actually. I mean, if, I think the best thing to do is use your squad mate's powers to attack and maintain your own ability to ghost out of there. Right now, stop trying to dip, dip, run, reposition. Stay there, get a couple shots off and disappear again. Now's the time for us to be our true infiltrator selves.
place. We can, we gotta get to those, those controls. Look, that works. Take the same route. Get over there, make them find you, because really we're waiting for the mission, the missile controls to be ready. The plan is to stay alive, not to kill them all. Nothing is doing anything to these banshees. I know you are. Husband moment. I can't believe this. This is so funny. <laughs> I need like chocolate. We need chocolate. Do I have any chocolate over here? The emergency stash. We've already eaten. We've already eaten the emergency chocolate. No, here we go. There's more. All right. I need a hippo. Look, team, everybody grab some snacks. Everybody reach in. You want some jellies? What do you need? I'm taking some chocolates. <sighs> oh, yeah. This chocolate looks like a hippo. I love you. I love you like Shepard loves Liara. I love you like Garrus loves Tali. I love you like Joker loves Edie. All right. I love you like you love chocolate. Let's Time alive. I think the more time we're invisible, the more likely we're gonna be alive until the missiles are ready to launch. Brian looks so serious eating chocolate. It's a serious moment. Like, 
Let's not try to kill banshees. Let's let our squad kill banshees. Let's run around and avoid banshees. Invisible. Definitely gotta stay in cover though. Gonna need more chocolate. No. <laughs> Alright. Anytime you're moving down, you're holding that. don't know what I can be doing differently. <clears throat> let's not go that route then. Let's, we're just gonna... Let's see if we can draw him into the line of that, that terrible thing. All you gotta do is get back, push that button. No, no, no! Get down, Shepard! 
mistake. Wait for your shields then, so it's not have shields. Okay. Hold, 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 pause. Powers? Cloak. Run. I can't. Hold X and run. God, please! Go, 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 go! For the love of God, please! This way. There he is. No. Oh my God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm legit gonna start fucking crying. I can't believe this. This is like next level. I cannot believe. What the hell? What the actual hell? So where am I supposed to go? It's up there, I guess. Mission control. Stay here. Stay here and don't use any of your powers so you can disappear when you need to. We're infiltrators, not tanks. on them, then ghost and run on your own. I am! <laughs> Do I just give up? Do I just no, give up? you can't give up! I like, look- Never surrender! I really, I like, honestly don't know. Like, I've been doing, I thought I've been doing good this whole time. It's the final fight. Focus off. I know. Finish strong. Don't shoot banshees, so banshees don't come for you. Banshees are gonna come no matter what. They figure out where we are when we shoot them. I think your cryo ammo on these marauders is your best bet. And squad powers on them. Powers so that the banshees go towards your squad members and not towards you. you have to Oh my god. 
It gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> no. Adam just reported. Several sovereign class reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. <sighs> Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel oh to open those God. arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. <sighs> All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Uh. Zim Zam Sam, thank you for the gift sub group hug love. Yo, Zim Zam, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that has been probably the most stressful game in life. So you think about throwing the controller through the screen and don't. That's when you know. Oh my god. You held the line. I held the line. <laughs> Honestly, that was so hard. And, and and that also like ramped up pretty significantly in its uh, intensity from like every other mission in this whole game. Hammer time! Here on in, it's a straight shot. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. <laughs> we'll be lucky to get a handful. We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. I'm proud of all of you, I especially can't think of you. Else I'd rather do this with. I'm honored to be part of your team. <laughs> We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. <laughs> this, is it. this is it. Jeez. <clears throat> Shit.
to get out of here. I'm all right, Shepard. Don't argue with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. No matter what happens, you mean everything to me, Liara. You always will. Shepard, I... Me. Are you kidding me? That's how Shepard dies? Via husk? No, that's not how we go. It's too much. We need to regroup. Fall back to the buildings. It's hilarious. <laughs> Fucking anticlimactic <laughs> shit right there. Out. All forces, retreat. Get up. Shots on the husks. Going in slow motion. I literally can't move any faster. This is as fast as I can go.
Up here too. I followed you up, but we didn't come out the same place. No, at least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? Reaper <laughs> belly. You okay? I feel like death, but I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Uh, makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Oh god, I hope <laughs> not. Sure. They round them up on Earth, and send the people up here to be processed. Decaf Shadow, thank you for the gifted sub. Urfrax, welcome back three months. And Mew Memento and Marcus, thank you for the cheers with Tendies. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm you were talking about. Anderson? Damn it. This is painfully slow. I yeah, wish I could run. Slow. We are wounded. Reiki, thank you for being here with your prime. And Zimzam, thanks for the cheers. Is this, if this is Mr. Elusive Man, I'm gonna have a word. Write a strongly worded email. To you, whoever you are. Oh, that's you, our friend. Anderson! to survival, control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Adam. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relay, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined. 
There were some who thought the relay should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. Maybe you're just so hungry for power that it's clouded your vision. No. No. It's not that simple. Isn't it? You're willing to give up anything for control. Yes. If not me, then who? Are you going to control the Reapers? There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control. And then what? Look at the power they need. Look at what they can do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... <laughs> but I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... No, it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You sacrifice too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! They have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. You're still doing it because they control you. I... They're too strong. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard.
Anderson. Oh. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. Best seats in the house. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Shepard, Commander. I, uh, what do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. It's got to be something on your end. Commander Shepard. I don't see. I'm not sure how to... Why are you here? What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? The Reapers are mine. I control them. They are my solution. The solution to what? Chaos. You bring it on yourselves. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. 
That's the solution. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to, however, in combination with the Citadel and the relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You don't need hope. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? That depends on you. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. Okay. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. Hell of a day. All right. Um, will it end this? We want details or what? I mean, at this stage of the game, what I exactly want details. Will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can? You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. I don't really understand. Oh my god. I mean, okay, I, so I, basically I, we can we if we use this crucible, every synthetic will be wiped out. It's not just reapers and we ourselves will die too, but we will ascend and become something greater than ourselves. But that means that everything that we love on earth, like we're we're letting it go. We got to die to save the world. Mhm. Mm All right, I think I understand. The reapers will obey me. Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. But isn't that kind of what the elusive man? You must release the but we're energy different than of the, the elusive crucible man. to end the cycle. The paths are open, but you have to choose. You have to choose. Why? What to do? This is. Very deep. Oh, little guy. Why you leave me so big choices?
So what do you think? Should we I don't know. take control of I'm the I'm so Reapers? emotionally drained. We've been streaming for five hours straight. I know. Um, I... I mean, I guess the question is, like, do we... Can we do a better... Like, if we controlled the Reapers, what does that mean? Like... I mean, I don't really see a choice here, right? How is, how is this a choice? Okay, so hold on a second. Um, apparently, there's, there's a, this is gonna show us a choice, the power conduit. Okay, if we, going to the right, we're gonna destroy the power conduit. Mm -hmm. And if we go to the left, we choose to control the conduit. I honestly don't know what to do because I feel like if we if we if we take control of the reapers I don't know if that's going to actually help anything. I mean at this stage of the game why just blow the whole thing? I kind of feel like let's just I mean end the cycle. Stick to your guns, right? I mean I'm gonna shoot this thing? I... I... Yeah? Essentially, we would die either way. Shepard can't go back to being who Shepard wants to be. We basically had to choose between synthetics or organics the or... The Crucible is armed. Disengage and head to the rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. Joker, listen. We have to go. to do since the very beginning so no i i think i think that the idea of us controlling the reapers is not that's no life no i don't want to do that oh my god but that does mean that the geth are gonna be Unless somebody put them on a floppy disk or something, there might be some backups. Edie. But we were part synthetic too, so... I don't know. It's a very interesting big question. Big way to, you know, end this whole adventure. Oh man, I mean, I've never played a game where I felt so much like the protagonist by the end of it, which I think is really cool. Mm -hmm. Like from an immersive point of view, like short of running around through rubble and jumping over stuff, like I feel as exhausted as I could possibly feel right now. All right, husks down. by losing, yeah. Oh, the music in this whole game is incredible.
Krogan. I am Krogan! Krogan! Alliance, you will live to fight another day. Joker, safe. have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child every civilization, on every world. take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. So many Krogans! Oh, oh yeah! Babies. Oh, right on! Little larva. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. Yes! And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, <laughs> but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. We must! Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this, and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. 
a future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. more epic than that is this the epicest epic this is this is the most oh epic oh my epic. gosh wow 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 um i need i need uh probably therapy um and i need dinner yeah yeah um, i'm i'm like wow i literally am mind blown um that was so I don't even mind, have words. Mind, mind yeah. blowing would I, be good. I, I like don't. I don't have words. <laughs> Holy cow! I'm so exhausted. Yeah. That was intense, y'all. What a stream, GG team, GG. Wow. That was. I mean, I've never, I've never experienced anything like this. I mean, we've been playing this game. Started it in May, Legendary Edition. It's been a very. I mean, we're talking. This is. Yeah. This is an in-depth, deep lore. Yeah. Deep concepts. Um, deep universe. Holy cow. Mr. Debo, what have you done, yo, Mr. Debo? Debo. Mr. Debo, we're supposed to be thanking you, Debo. Oh my gosh. My dude, big hug. Friend. Debo, 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 can I hug you? Can we give you a big old hug? Everyone hug. Oh. Everyone give Mr. Debo the biggest hug in the world. Squeeze him. Grab Burn. him and crush Please. him with love. Ah. Timo. Yo. My dude. Moogie Blue. Moogie Blue. Moogie Blue. Merci beaucoup. Merci, merci. Yo, oh my goodness. Yo. Holy Sparkles cow. for you, Moogie Blue. Thank you, Blue. Moogie Blue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Merci beaucoup. We appreciate you so much, team. Yo, I like... That was probably one of... Like, we've played a lot of games that have very big life and death decisions, but the level of, like... Oh my gosh, that makes Bay or Bay look like a cakewalk. Yeah, I know. Um, like, whoa. Like, whoa. Whoa um, or whoa. I can't even wrap my mind around all of the things I'm trying to wrap my mind around right now. Uh, thank you. I, I know there's an after credit scene. I got you, team. Yeah, yeah. Um, La Veritas, thank you for these cheers. Oh my gosh, you get so attached to these characters. It's true. I mean, I know. We, when we met Garrus and Rex and Tali, I totally see why you all wanted us to start with the first game. It makes mm -hmm. good sense. I'm so <laughs> on to Dragon Age. No, on to Resident <laughs> Evil uh, Biohazard, in fact. Yes. That's going to be our next game. Um, our next game will be coming up next weekend. Well, I mean, we're going to play a little bit of Horizon. Uh, yes. We're playing Horizon's DLC, DLC coming up on Friday. Then we switch to Resident Evil 
Biohazard. Bef- seven. Seven, before we play Horizon Forbidden West right after it's released. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, we all need to emotionally recover, right? And there, there was a tease that they're working on another Mass Effect game of an un, unannounced uh, date, but oh my gosh. What was also interesting was how after all of that time of like really not, not getting down with the elusive man, in a way he was kind of right. I think it's the morally gray thing. I mean, it makes that last decision is so hard. And as I understand it from y'all in in the stream, that the the war assets will determine what options are open to you. So if yeah. you had if you had all of the war assets possible, that you if there you had might a maximum, be another there option, might be an, an additional option. Um, I was definitely a little confused there at the end. Yeah. I, I wasn't really sure that walking this way or walking that way was the, was the deciding difference. thing, but I think we definitely did the right thing for sure. Yeah. Hey, also, Priya, Priya, welcome back. And Ensign Rick, welcome back. Thank you for the resubs. Also, the, um, the, the way that the elusive man looked when we finally saw him in person it's was to get so down. creepy. He's, he's, he's corrupted, it seems. I mean, he's, he's been indoctrinated in his, his human essence. I mean, he's effectively like, is he an organic synthetic hybrid? I don't know. Also, Am those... I going to spend another hundred years in the Massapedia? Massapedia? <laughs> the Massapedia Wikipedia? The Mass, Mass Effect Wikipedia? I mean, holy cow! Totally indoctrinated, but like, but like, in a in a real bad way. Yeah, he was really. Oh man. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Dark. Um, and Saren, yeah, Saren yeah. vibes all over again. Um. Great lore. Yes. Strong vibes. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Elusive man. Elusive man. Why do you do it, like you did? <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess everybody thinks they're doing the, the right thing, right? The best possible option. Look at the little floaty hug. <laughs> Thank you all for the nice hugs. We appreciate it very much. Yeah. Oh man, an ending that sparks debate for sure. Indeed. Well, I mean, that's that's. Look, it wouldn't be any fun to have a branching narrative game if there was one right answer, right? Yeah. Can we all agree before before this even gets into the YouTube comments? Can I just throw it out there that like the point of a branching narrative game is so that people can take different branches? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole fun of it. If there was one, if there was one choice that was like obviously the better choice, then it would it would not we wouldn't be compelled to do it. We'd all just be like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. Want to oh, there are actually four, four and four, huh? Oh, wow. Trinity, ha ha. So, um, we'll have to do f- three more playthroughs, <laughs> or at least from the end. The cool thing is, is we did we did do an extra save towards the end, so we could try out some different end games. And I definitely, I personally want to give a run at the end. Oh my combat. god, that was so that intense. Was so you crushed that shit. I- didn't feel like I crushed it. You did. It. You I, crushed it to the 90%. It and then crushed la- me. I was that literally. That last little 10% was like. I oof. was. I was like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, them banshees coming everywhere. The marauders coming everywhere. Cannibals. Hannibals. <laughs> lecters. Everything. It was so intense. And they were just like. Shh, 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 Yo, Raging Girl. Thank you for the cheers. Appreciate that. Amelia, you did fantastic, says Cheesy Chappers. Thanks, Cheesy. You're a gamer now, Amelia. There's no doubt about it. At this point, going forward, not only are you a specter, but you're a gamer. I'm a gaming specter. (laughs) You did Uh, amazing. You did so amazing. All right, I think we're about to get to the end of the credits here to take a little peek at this end scene team. Um, Pro gamer indeed. Undeniable. So I'm curious... uh, while we finish these credits, for those of you who've played, when you got to that final that final showdown, yeah, what choice did you make? How, yeah, what choice did you make? Let's see. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life and every life 
is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Congratulations on bringing an end to the Reaper threat. Commander Shepard has become a legend, and from here you can continue to build that legend. It has been a long journey for Shepard and the team here at BioWare, and like Shepard, we couldn't have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as a vision of a small team, but over the years it has grown. That growth has been fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of our player community. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We look forward to sharing future adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe. Sweet. Thank you, Mass Effect team. And that's Buzz Aldrin, huh? That's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. Buzz hey. Aldrin did the voice for the Stargazer at the end. That's really cool. <laughs> Photon Dash, hey. thank you so much. Photon Dash. Thank you. You are a diamond. A diamond. A diamond in the sky. And an anonymous cheer and cheesy chappers. Thank you for the cheers. Uh, Cheesy says, in the six years I've been playing this game, this is the first time I've actually watched someone else play the whole series. It's been surreal and incredible, and I'm so happy I got to share it with you in the community. Yo, thank you. 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 And Chriso, thank, thank you, you for thank cheering you. as well. Chriso, thank yeah, you Yeah, this kindly. has been a really epic adventure. Um, I, wow. Well, um... The sun is down. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you all. Thank you all. And Moogie Blue, thank you for the cheers. Oh, man. Um, can I share a little thing that this reminds me of and I'm sure inspired these folks before we sign off? Yeah. Uh, our, our mods have selected a raid, and I got to say, can we please get some serious mod love? Thank you. <laughs> Moderators, you're the realest. You're the realest wow. there is, team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's nobody else that would put up with us for five hours and five and a half hours straight doing yes. this. I know. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. And so, so, so much. Lieutenants and everybody on Discord, thank you so much. Everybody who subscribed and stuff, love we love it. you. T Gravel and Moogie Blue, thank you for the cheers. And Oxy the Fox, thank you for the gifted subs. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure many of you have heard this before, but this is a um, something I like to read. That's cool. This is a, a passage from uh, Cosmos. Uh, it's an essay by Carl Sagan, who is, of course, uh, an explorer <laughs> of space. Uh, there's a, uh, a shuttle, or not a shuttle, a satellite called Voyager that was sent out uh, very far away from Earth to take photos. And when it turned around, at the end of its journey, just one last moment before it was uh, too far away from Earth to see it, uh, they took one last photo, and I think I can drop it here, maybe? Yeah. There it is. There it is. And right here on the screen, in that band of pale pink light, you can see a little dot. Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love. Everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on a mote of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. The Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors, so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Mm. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner. 
how frequent their misunderstandings, how eager they are to kill one another, how fervent their hatreds. Our posturings, our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Our planet is a lonely speck in a great, enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The Earth is the only world known, so far, to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit? Yes. Settle? Not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our stand. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. I love it. I love it. Thanks for reading that. Oh, wow. It's one of my favorite passages. This is from Carl Sagan, written in 1994. Uh, it's, I believe, an essay uh, or part of uh, the greater book called Cosmos, uh, called Pale Blue Dot. Uh, but I think about that a lot. I think anytime I get overwhelmed, uh, I think about how there are so many of us right now, very briefly, floating on this little dot, and we can all take care of each other. Yeah. So thank you all for taking care of each other and for being kind <laughs> and for taking care of the planet. I mean, we only got one. Yeah. We got no backup. We do. There's no planet B. <sighs> oh, Friends, thank, thank you all you. for being with us, team. Thank you for going on this Mass Effect adventure with <laughs> us. A massive journey. It has been epic. It has been uh, just mind-bending, honestly. This has been so huge and inspiring. I feel like I've grown so much as a, as a player and as a... As a player and as a person playing this. So I'm really grateful that you all recommended it. And yeah. um, if you want to check it out, I highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we hug it out, team? Mr. Okami's giving everyone a hug. Oh. A big hug from Mr. Okami and from us. Mm. Thank you all for being with us today on the stream and for tuning in. Next time, we'll be back with some uh, Frozen Wilds yep. DLC. Then we're going to play some Horizon Forbidden West, but not before we play Resident Evil 7. Biohazard. Yes. <laughs> Next weekend. Let's do it. We're going to go show some love to some Horizon Zero Dawn right about now. Let's go show some love. Appreciate you all hanging out with us. Thank you for your good vibes and know that you are made of stardust. <laughs> Let's get on with this raid, shall you? Yes. All right. My name is Brian. My name's Amelia. And this, this is, is our, our Twitch. Twitch. We love you all. Take care. Thank you. See you soon.